open arms and welcome back again to the Christ Jesus College and Seminary and the Christ Jesus Chapel. This is a channel that presents very raw and unfiltered truth of the Bible, the Holy Scripture. And we've spent now the last three years pretty much on a daily basis as best as we can to spend time with you on an individual basis and share insights from the Bible, insights from the Old Testament and New Testament. And sometimes those topics are biographical. Sometimes those topics are based on very important topics or prophecy. Today's topic is about immunity, about how to have the best immune system. Now, we have just gone through a major worldwide event lasting almost maybe three years, three plus, depending on when you want to officiate the start date. And there's been a lot of, let's say, chatter on social media about what does it take to maximize your immunity. I mean, to send my best regards to Bishop Uda and to our missionary Mary in Israel and, and to Tiger Joe. I find this a very interesting topic. I know that last week we talked about the topic of transgender, and I received a lot of, I would say about 100 inquiries because they couldn't find the, they couldn't find the, um, the magazine, The Economist was sold off the shelf. And so I was more than happy to, sh to scan them a copy. And I know that that has created a lot of um, interest in, in reading why America is moving forward with this, this care while Europe is, is really under the belief that such care is experimental. The topic today is going to be a little bit different. So it's going to, I, I will, if you've seen previous episodes with me you, you we where we discussed immunity especially during the height of you know, the, the worldwide event where everyone was on an orange alert so to speak for health reasons and of course sleep hygiene a good diet exercise sunlight i'm a big proponent of vitamin c I, I do believe it has very positive effects on the body. Zinc, I think that uh, the closer you get to a plant-based whole food diet or nutrition, the more healthy you're going to become. And yes, mushrooms are great for you. Yes, ginger and turmeric is great for you. Yes, uh, all those, the checklist is off, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. There is a verse I think is very, very illuminating. And you've probably read it. And, and when I read the verses to you, you're going to say, yeah, I've heard this before, but maybe you didn't notice the verse that comes after that. And I want to, so I'm going to read this very slowly to you, straight from the King James Version. I'm reading from the King James Version, chapter 3. And you'll see that these words have been heard from you you've heard them before but let's pay very close attention to one specific sentence it says trust in the lord it's very important this is it says it's not very wise to trust in princes according to the book of proverbs trust in the lord with all thy heart with all thine heart trust in the lord with all thine heart and you may not understand it all the time God wants you to trust him with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. In other words, you, you may not always figure it out, but we are encouraged to trust the Lord because he's trustworthy. He's faithful. And in all your ways, acknowledge him. That means every time you come to a crossroad or a decision, you take a moment. You know, when the king asks Nehemiah, What's bothering you? Why you why, why, why you look so downcast? He took a moment before he, he made a request to the king. He took a moment to look up and to pray and ask God to give him wisdom. And he made his request to the king. And the king gave him this incredible request. And so we are to acknowledge God in all our ways. What does it say? He shall direct our paths. Who's he? 
No, it's not, it's not your CPA. It's not your lawyer. It's not your doctor. God, Father God will direct your paths. You couldn't ask anything better than that. Now, if I were to stop right there, that's a beautiful meditation that would be very pleasing to God's heart. But notice the next sentence. In fact, notice the next two sentences. And I'm sure you, you haven't heard it on the news. I'm sure you haven't read it in a, in a medical article. But look what it says. It says, be not wise in your own eyes. Don't be so arrogant. Don't, be, don't think that you know it all. Be not wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord. What is the fear of the Lord? We, we, we reviewed this before. It's, it's, it's a healthy reverence. It's, it's an awe of God, of Elohim, realizing that he's God and we are dust and he loves us. We don't know why. And he wants to bless us, but sometimes we are our own worst enemy. And we're not to be wise in our own eyes. And, and, and the fear of the Lord is to hate pride, to hate arrogance, to hate the evil way, to hate lying, and to cling to what is good. You read Romans 12, hate what is evil, but cling to what is good. Do not give, do not render evil for evil. Do not repay evil for evil, but overcome evil with good. Now, there is a health benefit. There are many spiritual benefits to fearing the Lord, but you don't hear that often from pastors and Bible teachers and prophets and from doctors, that there is a health benefit to having reverence and awe for God and for Scripture. It says here, it shall be health to your navel and marrow to thy bones. Now, I find that very interesting because as a martial artist, about two finger breaths underneath your belly button is a very important point of the body in martial arts. In Japanese, they call it hara. The Chinese call it dantain. And it is, according to all oriental medicine, that is the main center of all human energy. Your health stems from this area supposedly where Chi will circulate around your body within 24 hours. Now, whether that's true or not, I'm not here to debate that. All I'm saying here is that Scripture is saying that if you want the highest amount of immunity, if you want to enjoy optimal health, if you want to be able to enjoy a life where you don't get that sick that often or not sick at all, what the Bible is proposing is completely very, very different than what we hear in modern medicine. Take this, take that. You know, it's it's not something from the outside. Jesus said it very clearly. A man does not get defiled from what he eats or what comes from the outside. Man gets defiled from the inside. When you're angry at someone, when you're vindictive, when you're unforgiving, when you have heresy in your heart, when you have treason in your heart, when you have jealousy in your heart, these are the things that God looks at. These are the attitudes and motives that make us unclean in God's eyes. And then you notice quite the opposite. It isn't a pill. It isn't something that we, we take or we inject in ourselves that gives us optimal health. It's our attitude to our God and it's our attitude towards sin. that we're going to make a choice. If we had to make a choice between pleasing God or pleasing ourselves, giving our attention to God and making sure that he's number one and he's our priority, or if we're living a life just all about pleasure, self-esteem, how many toys can I get, how much fame, how popular can I be, those are two different paths altogether. But the person who's going to enjoy the optimal health, have marrow, having marrow to your bones, is, you can see the imagery there. This is a biblical promise that for those individuals who actually fear the Lord, 
this very important part of your body is going to be just so healthy. And that's what's going to increase your immunity. You'll sleep better. You'll have better digestion. You'll be able to fend off diseases. How many times do I see patients come into my experience that they're worried, they're anxious, they're nervous, they're not sleeping well, and they have blood pressure issues, they have insomnia, they have a racing mind, they, they're not getting everything accomplished, they're burnt out because they're not trusting the Lord. If you're trusting the Lord with all your heart, and you're not leaning upon your own understanding, and you're fearing the Lord, because you know that these things are not approved by the Lord. They're evil. And we're to avoid evil. We're not even to consider evil. The moment we consider evil, our prayers are no longer heard. Even if we consider it, if we're that sensitive to the Lord, and we're and we're revering Him, or we're giving Him that fear that He definitely... I mean, if, if there's anyone who, anyone in the universe that is deserving of our admiration and our awe and our love and our faithfulness, it's Father God. He sent His only Son, Je He sent His only Son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for your sins and my sins. And when we have that respect toward Him, He's saying to you, "I got you." And I was involved in a prayer session today with many, many different pastors and bishops. And it was a very interesting, um, I'll close in this note, it was a very interesting, everyone was praying for each, each, each other's health. I think that's so beautiful that as Christians, we can pray for each other and ask for anointing and ask for healing. God loves the prayer of faith. So that's another topic for another day. The prayer of faith is found in James. Maybe we'll have another get-together on that topic. But hopefully you'll get a chance to read this for yourself. And hopefully maybe it'll just sink in a little deeper to you and make you realize that your health is much more than what's in your cupboard, or what prescription you get from a doctor. It's, it's a relationship that you have, a personal relationship you have with Christ Jesus the Lord. Oh, I pray that if you're a Christian, You'll make up your mind today to have a closer walk with Christ. And if you're not a Christian, you're intrigued by this relationship with God. He's He's calling you. He's wooing you. He's He 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 He's definitely He definitely knows who you are. And he's calling you by name. I pray that you will be encouraged to take a step forward. He said, "If you come closer to God, He'll come closer to you. And if you repent of your sins, you turn from your ways and you turn to God." Well, salvation is a gift. It's a gift of grace. And I tell you, nothing more important to know that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I want to thank everyone for joining us today. Thanks for all your prayers. Thank for, thanks for giving me a day of rest yesterday so I can put together more writing and more content together. We're very excited for this week. And we're very excited because we're on different platforms. We're on Patreon. We're going to have three different channels on Patreon. We're also on Rumble. Um, and you also, you'll be finding a lot of our talks also on Spotify. So we're never here to ask for anything, but what we do is we covet your prayers and we covet your encouragement. And if you like this, subscribe, but more importantly, share the link and be a blessing to somebody else in Jesus name. Peace and joy.